At precisely three minutes to one, Jack Johnson makes his way to the ring. Johnson is always the first to enter. So seriously does he take this ritual that it's written into his contract. The nation comes to a standstill as cameras grind away. A roar goes up. Now, Jeffries. The crowd goes wild. This is a new age of instant communication. For the first time ever, a round-by-round -round account relayed across country by telegraphers key. Round one. 45 rounds, the battle of the century. The action is tentative, cautious. Two champions, one old and coaxed out of retirement, are claimed as the great white hope. The other, proud and outspoken, a man who has aroused the nation. The third man is Tex Rickard, impresario extraordinary. While outside, hundreds unable to buy tickets await the outcome. Jeffries bears the reputation of being the strongest man ever to enter the ring. Well, I got a thing or two to say about that. In Jeffries' corner, Corbett yells, one, two, Jeff, one, two. That's all you need, Jeff. One, two, one, two, keep on trying. Come on, man, do something. This here's for the championship. Around seven, Jeffries is beginning to show frustration. Each time he launches an attack, Johnson quickly stifles it. And his frustration is compounded by Johnson's taunts. Strong, Mr. Jeff, real strong. Fight me was wrong. It's all on film for the world to see. High overhead, a desert sun scorches the canvas. The temperature is rising, and so are tempers. The bell rings for round 15. A vicious uppercut and three stinging lifts. Jeffries goes down. Get up, Jack. Get up. Johnson moves in, but Rickard waves him off. Slowly, Jeffries rises. Johnson unloads a thunderous left, and Jeffries goes through the rope. Emotions wave the rules as Jeffries is helped to his feet. Johnson moves in to finish it. finally collapses from a combination of both. Stop it. Stop it, they scream. Johnson wants more, but Tex Rickard signals the end. The great white hope. Humiliated. Beaten. Betrayer of his race.